Hi loves, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mal. Today we're reviewing the beautiful Miss Nada Fidel's contact lens brand. And you guys, you're gonna wanna pay attention to this one because I found some amazing lenses in this haul. But I'm gonna be honest, I had no clue who Nada Fidel was until one of you guys recommended that I try her lenses. So thank you as always for giving me amazing suggestions. Let's not waste any time. Let's get right into this video. Now, Nada Fidel actually won Miss Arab in 2005 and 2006, and she was a TV personality for several years after, so I feel like she really knows what it means when it comes to enhancing your beauty and looking your best on camera and in person. Not only that, but when I look on their website, they actually are saying that their lenses are manufactured in one of the top leading places for manufacturing contact lenses, which is Korea, and they also have UV protection, and they are made in a way to protect your eyes and lock in that moisture. They hooked you guys up with a 10% off discount code. The code is right here on the screen. So if you do like any of these lenses or you were thinking about buying from this brand, go ahead and use that code because saving some money is always nice. And I'm going to keep my review really honest and very straightforward. So let's get into the first pair. I first tried Nada Cat Eyes. And you guys may have seen this on some of my other content on social. I was really excited about this pair because these are stunning. They really do make your eyes look like cat eyes. What I'm noticing is a bold steel gray limbal ring and a peanut butter toned center. This this lens has a really beautiful blend where the limbal ring is just kind of meshing in with that center color. Now let's talk about the pupil hole. I will give you more thoughts on what I really think about it in the end of this video. Overall, these contacts I think are gorgeous for if you're wanting a really stunning, bold look. Let's move on to the next one that I think is a little bit more subtle and would be perfect for all of my brown contact lovers. You guys know I love brown contacts as well. So Mocha was one of my favorites. Now Mocha is a gorgeous brown bear contact and this one is super feathered. You get that starburst pupil. So a lot of definition, a lot of room for your natural eye color to kind of peek through and peekaboo through that starburst pupil. Pupil. I'm not really seeing much of a limbal ring effect on these ones, although I do see a very, very subtle deep brown, almost grayish toned ring on the outer edge of my eye. For me personally, this is like my go-to color and something I would wear every day. And this is a pair that I feel like I could wear without being all dolled up like how I am today. Some of these lenses are definitely for when you are looking your absolute best. So keep that in mind. But this pair is something you could wear, I think, no matter what. Let's take a look at the next pair because the next one I tried is called Wasama. And this one was honestly out of my comfort zone it's not a typical color that i would usually go for but i did try to get a variety of contacts this is a very interesting shade it's more of a gray tone for sure i'm noticing a nice soft limbal ring that's more of that steel gray on the outer portion of the contact and on the inner portion you're getting that cement kind of concrete gray color but you're also noticing a bit of almond speckling right around that pupil hole personally i love it when contacts have a little bit of brown around the pupil when it's a bolder color because I find that that makes them look very natural but with this lens I'm not sure if I could say these are natural my theory with the pupil hole is that when you're doing a tighter pupil hole a lot of brands opt not to give it that starburst or feathered effect because when it's tighter and it's kind of defined it can sometimes look more flattering I don't know let me know your thoughts on this I don't mind an undefined pupil hole if the rest of the contact has some detailing throughout but it still kind of rubs me the wrong way a little bit. I want you guys to prepare yourselves because this next pair is absolutely stunning. I don't know if it's just me, but I am in love with Hazelnad. And I actually saw a girl on social media post this TikTok here and she was wearing, I think this color, I don't know if she was wearing this color, but I'm just assuming that this is the one because they look so freaking pretty. So anyway, Hazelnad. A beautiful pear green. They are very bold with that deep limbal ring. I wouldn't call the limbal ring black, but it is a very deep, rich, dark brown. And we're getting a tight pupil hole. Now this one is interesting because it doesn't have much detailing in the lens. It's actually kind of more of a solid color. You're getting a little bit of diffusing by that pupil hole, but it's not giving you a starburst effect or a feathered look. It's just kind of like a soft kind of gradient. But overall, the pupil hole is definitely indiscreet. Like it is very defined. This is different for me because usually I would probably be like, oh, I don't think a pair like this would look good on me. But when I put these in, I was like, oh my god, did I just find my new favorite green contact? Like, 
I'm obsessed with how they look. I think they are so enhancing to the eye. They absolutely make your eyes pop and instantly I feel like your attention is drawn to a person's eyes when they're wearing these. I put on this pink top just because I was curious to see with color theory how they would look and I'm obsessed. I love how they look with this pink top. I think it really brings out the green. This is a very beautiful color and I'm going to say a dupe for these because they really, really remind me of Olen's Nella Green. But this one is much better. You guys will have to let me know if you think that Hazel Nad actually does look natural or if it's just that they're so pretty, I don't care. Cause I can't tell. I feel like they do look natural, but maybe I'm lying to myself. Okay, let's move on to Bright. Now Bright is a really beautiful blue toned gray. And I think this is really, really soft, very pretty. You're getting actually a kind of different shaped limbo ring with this one. It's a deep limbo ring, a deep gray, but it's actually not a straight circle around the eye. It's a little bit more jagged and it almost has a gradient effect where it's kind of bleeding into the inner color. Now that inner color, you're getting a beautiful pale light gray. And this gray has a bit of an undertone of blue. I think that's just how they end up looking on me. I find that gray contacts tend to lean a little bit more to the blue side on my eyes in particular. For me personally, I'm starting to realize that when it comes to like a gray contact, something with a deeper limbo ring like this looks a lot more natural on me. So this type of lens has definitely grown on me over the years. Now bright is gorgeous, but if you want something just a hint more softer, then you'll really like Not A Calf. Not A Calf seems to be a very popular color from their brand. I see a lot of videos on their social media with models wearing this color. So I think it's one of their best sellers. That's just my guess. But this shade has a little bit more more of a sandy kind of desert beige around that iris and I love that I think it's so pretty and so flattering you're still getting the gray tones you're getting that deep limbo ring and also some of that light gray but I love the brown in this contact to me this lens gives a dull eyed effect it gives a very bright open eyed look and I think they're very flattering and very stunning not a color that I would usually like gravitate towards but I'm kind of starting to warm up to like these grays and these blue tones because I'm seeing how pretty they can really look so this is actually the last pair that I tried on with a limbo ring and I wanted to bring something up because I saw something online that was saying that limbo rings often make you appear younger because when we are younger we have a natural bolder limbo ring around our eyes as we get older it slowly starts to fade away so I'm curious about this do you guys think this is true or not I will say when I put a limbo ring contact in my eyes I definitely feel like very cute and I always describe it as feeling like doll eyed or kind of like doe eyed with like big bold eyes and that is something that I associate with like children or babies or just you know younger kids in general so I don't know, does it work? Does it make us look more youthful? I'm curious your guys' opinion on that. Anyway, let's move on to one with no limbo ring. Absolutely stunning though, you guys. This is not a B. Not a B is everything to me. I love this shade, you guys. I can't put my finger on it. It kind of looks like a hazel, a gray, a little bit of a desert brown as well. There's a lot of different color combinations in here, and I think it's so pretty and so flattering definitely looking natural on me at least. I personally am enjoying the pupil on this one. You're getting that starburst kind of feathered look. You're getting no limbo ring, so it's very much like just blending with my natural eye color. I really like this tone. It's very cool toned. A lot of times when you see browns, they're very warm. This almost looks like a gray, but there's brown flecks in it. I think it's just so stunning. Now, if you like this color, but you want a limbo ring, I did also notice they had an option for a color called not a B contour and I believe that one has a limbo ring on the outer edge I saw this video here and I honestly loved it but I figured let me just try one I don't need to get both next we're gonna try on a very bright vivid color not a Nick not a Nick is blue you guys this is a vibrant aqua blue you're getting more of a sea blue on that outer edge and it's fading into this beautiful aqua marine blue color right around that pupil now this one does have a really soft kind of feathered out pupil hole it's not giving a starburst effect it's just like a soft gradient and no limbo ring but that kind of two-toned effect which i really enjoy if i was going to make a comparison for this i would definitely say they resemble solotica samba green that is the closest comparison i could find to these ones but i love this tone I'm not usually a blue contact girly, but I don't know. Sometimes the blue contacts are calling my name. I might have to pull out a pair and try them this summer. 
because I really like how these look. They're definitely giving you a total eye transformation. If you are looking for a blue contact, this could be a great option for dark eyes because it is completely changing my eye color. Like you wouldn't be able to tell that I have dark eyes unless you know about contacts, of course. Now, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like when I wear blue contacts in particular, I find it hard to like be outside in the really bright sun. And I know that they have UV protection, but I've heard that lighter eyes let more sun into your eye. Is this true? Like. I don't know, I'm curious about it because I definitely feel it when I wear the bold, bold, bright contacts. And I think that's another reason why I lean more to the natural, like earthy tones. There were actually two colors that I didn't try in this haul because honestly, that was a lot of contacts to try in one sitting. So the other two I'll be posting on my social media. Check out my channels here, you guys. Follow them and yeah, we can see the rest of the lenses there. Now, before wrapping up this video and giving you my final thoughts, I did do a wear test. So let's jump into that really quick. Checking in for my first wear test update it's been about two hours since i filmed and i'm actually still amidst filming i kind of took a break from trying all the contacts on and they look beautiful and they feel good so yeah so far so good it's been five hours since i last updated you sorry that light is so bright um i'm now wearing hazelnut these are gorgeous and i've been wearing them for like the last few hours of my day I love the way they look, you guys. They are feeling good. Literally forgot that I have them in. I'm not done yet. My day is not over. So I will update you guys once more before the end of the night. Okay, guys. Final update with the lenses. I'm so done. The contact lenses, they held up really well. And I honestly forgot that I was wearing them other than the fact that I think they look so freaking pretty. Every time I looked at myself, I was like, ooh. <laughs> um, it is now... Just after 12.30 p.m. a.m., just after 12.30 a.m. at night, and I'm ready to take off my makeup and go to bed. But yeah, I literally forgot I was wearing them. They look so natural and so pretty. So I'm in love. This is my favorite pair for sure out of the entire haul, and they were really comfortable. I had just the slightest difficulty with one pair, um, and that was only because I put it in backwards at first and then after I just like washed it Put it in my eye properly and it felt fine. So that was the pair with Sama But that was my fault. I put it in backwards. So it kind of like irritated my eye I do also have a slight astigmatism on this side So that does affect how contacts can feel and honestly my eyes are kind of dry and these all felt really good so yeah solid eight and a half out of ten for comfort for me i really like these you guys and we're back so i've talked about the comfort you guys i did give them a pretty high comfort rating and i think it's very fair because these are very comfortable lenses the only one pair that i struggled with was wasama and i'm actually wearing them today just to kind of give them another test and they feel fine so it definitely was the fact that i had put it in backwards you know when it comes to contact lenses you need to be able to wear them all day otherwise it's just not worth it so that is huge for me huge thumbs up that they are comfortable comfortable now as far as the price i mentioned that they are 40 dollars usd and that's for two in a package with a contact case as well and you're getting three months of wear out of these lenses which is actually pretty good this is on the luxury side so you're getting a little bit more of that premium contact lens it does look premium it feels premium and of course it's going to have that premium price point so as a final conclusion i think not a lens is a gorgeous contact brand you guys saw the lenses are stunning now are they all the most natural no but some of them are definitely meant to enhance your beauty when you have, you know, an event or when you want to look your best and you're getting all dolled up. A few of the colors that I feel like I could wear every day would be like Not A Bee or Mocha, as well as I honestly would wear Hazel Nod on an everyday basis. I'll definitely be filming a lot of beauty content wearing these contacts because they really make your eyes pop and I love that about them. But for every day, I'm not sure if I would wear all of these colors. I'm dying to know your thoughts on these lenses, guys. So hit me up in the comment section. I'd love to know what your favorite color was, what you think of Nada lenses as a whole. And don't forget that I always link the contacts in the description bar. So if you want to shop, use my code and as well links down below. Thanks again for watching this video, guys. I really appreciate you and you wouldn't believe it. I literally filmed this four times and each time something messed up. So I'm back again today. I got all glammed up and I'm feeling so much more fresh. So I think the video turned out well, but I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Single,